now that the first week of the open beta for Modern Warfare 3 has come and gone, it almost seems like Sledgehammer's on a mission to redeem themselves after Call of Duty Van Garbage. But, uh, we'll get right into what I think about the game overall. Welcome aboard, it's your boy Gene from Grey Matter Games, and where I cover everything gaming, from trailer breakdowns, gameplays like this, and anything in the gaming sphere, I cover it to the best of my abilities. And we're going to be covering today's episode will be based on the Modern Warfare open beta. And these are my honest thoughts. So, for the last couple years, we've had, well, we've had some ups and downs for the Call of Duty community, right? Some people love it, some people hate it, some people, you know, are indifferent, some people feel like it hasn't changed. As a Call of Duty fanboy, I've been here since World at War, I have felt like I've been in the Great Depression when it comes to Call of Duty, to be honest. And it's just because I feel like the identity crisis of what it is to be COD has just up and vanished. So, the last good COD, in my humbled of opinion, has been Black Ops 4. I mean, it was boots on the ground, it was future, it, it had a little bit of everything. It was in the future, it was boots on the ground, if you like the operator from BO3, you had that going, the gunplay was pretty good, the 150 health was very unique at the time with the manual healing. Everything was cool, you know, and I think Zombies was underrated at the time. Not the greatest, but it wasn't what it is now. And then we go into Modern Warfare 2019. Now, I don't mind giving something new a try, especially if you're going out of your way to drastically change the formula that's been working for years. But I think the problem with 2019 was, I, I feel, if I'm not mistaken, it came out at a time where Battlefield players were kind of... You know, they didn't have nothing. You know, Battlefield 5 at the time came out, but it wasn't doing too hot, and the, the community was dying. Then Call of Duty introduces tactical, quote unquote, realistic gunplay Call of Duty bullshit, and people gravitated here. Fortnite was on the rise, later ended up becoming Warzone, you know, releasing to compete with Fortnite, and that was really history, you know. And I feel like because Warzone is this big phenomenon that's still, you know, being played till this day, it's like no matter what happens, they're going to keep pumping out garbage games for the next couple years because Warzone really is their bread and butter. Now, I hated 2019, too much camping going around in there and the hacks and all that. I enjoyed Cold War. Now, before I get crucified... Cold War had good gameplay mechanics. It felt like traditional COD. Skill-based matchmaking was absolutely abysmal. And the maps, you know, it was very dry between the seasons. But now that the game's over and you look at the maps that have been released and the overall collection of Cold War, Cold War had a lot of good content. Zombies, a whole different story, but, you know, that's a video for another time. But I thought the campaign was good. I thought everything was pretty good. Verdansk 84 was pretty fun. Yada, yada, yada. Rebirth Island, you get the point. I thought Cold War was pretty solid. Then we go into Vanguard. I did not get through the beta. I hated the game right off the rip. Um, I just I like World War II games. I'm a big World at War fan. But when I feel like, you know, for whatever reason, every gun in Vanguard is shooting incendiary rounds or we're running around with like, what is it? 10 to like 11 attachments on a gun or some shit like that. I didn't like that. I didn't like how the operators were indistinguishable at launch. Everyone was the same and it was atrocious. It was very glitchy. It was very hacked. Everything about Vanguard was honestly ass. Not saying that it was completely dog crap because I thought the pacing of the game was really good. I thought the pacing was really, really, really well put. You know, it was, it was a nice middle ground between Modern Warfare and Cold War. Um, but overall there really wasn't much you can like about vanguard <laughs> not even the story i mean i thought campaign was lackluster to be honest then we go to Modern Warfare 2 Modern Warfare 2 looked promising at the beta and well we know how that ended up coming out so Modern Warfare 3 has anything changed well yeah uh sledgehammer games went out of their way to basically remaster or at least we're assuming most of the Modern Warfare 2 maps, at least that's what we've been advertised to believe. Um, I believe skill-based matchmaking will be in this game at launch. It, it was kind of there in the beta. Um, I do believe it's going to be just as heavy as it always has been. The gunplay feels good. That's the one thing Modern Warfare Engine has done very well. Gun, like The actual guns feel great. They, they sound great. They look great. Everything's great about them. They brought back a reload cancel. They brought back slide canceling. Um, I feel like quick scoping is back. 
The snipers feel really, really good. It almost feels like Sledgehammer's trying to please everyone. The hardcore fans and the casuals. And that's basically what you get here. Doesn't mean it's a good game. I'm just grading it based on the beta. Based on the beta, we're, it looks like it's a promising year for Call of Duty. Doesn't mean get fooled because at the end of the day, these are content that should have been in MW2 and it was repackaged into a new game. But I think overall, we're looking into a good year if Sledgehammer keeps the ball rolling like it was in the beta. Now, as you all know, there has been hackers in the beta ever since it opened up for everybody. So that's something to look out for because I know Vanguard got hacked really bad. Um, so we'll see what happens there. But overall, I think we're in a good position this year. Um, I don't know if we're going to last the whole year that the game's out until the next Black Ops game. But I feel depending on what DLC maps we get, whether it's MW3 or brand new maps for this game, that will be the deciding factor in the longevity of this game. Uh, weapon balancing, I think some of the weapons were OP, some of the weapons were weak, but that's the whole point of the beta. Feedback, 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 feedback. The perks are back. Dead Silence is back. Everything you love is back. Of course, it's now in the looks of, uh, it's in the form of clothing and equipments. But overall, the core aspect of what perks are, they work and they feel strong compared to MW2. The kill streaks, though it was very limited, I enjoyed the Juggernaut. Thought he needed a little bit of a nerf. Um, but I thought most of the kill streaks were pretty good. Overall, I really dig this game. Um, it's been a long time since I've actually gone out of my way to grind out a gun uh, or get a camo and stuff like that. And I'm looking forward to it for this game. Cold War, I got the mask, um, not the mask, I ended up getting Plague Diamond and Gold and, you know, Diamond. And basically every camo in Cold War, I ended up getting it because the core gameplay was fun despite how dreadful the matchmaking was. The core gameplay was fun for me and I enjoyed it. Modern Warfare 2, I did not find any joy in it. Uh, Modern Warfare 1, I did not find any joy in it. Vanguard, I did not find any joy in it. Modern Warfare 3, I found myself enjoying it a lot. It's a nice middle ground for Cold War players and Modern Warfare players, just like Vanguard, because I think it has that Vanguard speed. Um, so I am looking forward to potentially grinding out all the camos, checking out all the guns and the streaks, and seeing how we evolve. But that's just week one, you know. Week two comes out this weekend. If anything changes, I will make a video on it, but... Until then, I don't know if I'm going to make another video until the actual launch of the game. So we'll see what week two brings to the table. But overall, I'm definitely digging what Sledgehammer is throwing out. And uh, hopefully we have a bright future ahead of us.